Tennis might seem like a simple enough game, but the scoring is actually quite complicated. The first thing that you have to know is that tennis is made up of games, sets, and then a match. A game consists of a sequence of points with the same player serving and is won by the first player to have won at least four points and at least two points more than their opponent. The running score in each game goes from love, which is 0, 15, 30 and 40. If both players are on 40 points, the score is juice. At juice, either player can win the game by winning by two points. At juice, the person who wins the next point has the advantage, so the score is called either advantage server or advantage receiver. At this point, the player who's in the lead only needs one more point to win the game. This is known as game point. That same terminology also extends to sets, so when one player only needs one more point to win the set, it's known as set point, and when one player only needs one more, more point to win the match, it's known as match point. Now a set consists of a sequence of games with servers alternating between games, and it ends when one player wins six games. But the winner must win by at least two games, so if the score is 6-5, one more game is played. If the leading player wins the game, they will win the set 7-5. If the trailing player wins the, that game, the set is six all, and so a seven point tiebreak is played to decide who wins that set. Matches are usually the best of three or five sets. Once a player has won more than half of the sets, the match ends. So if you're playing the best of three sets, and one player wins two of those sets, the match is over. Likewise, if you're playing the best of five sets and one player wins three of those sets, the match is done.